It's already November 1st. And it's snowing. It's snowing just a little bit, but... Uh, this right here is definitely a little bit better than earlier this morning. It was really coming down. It was windy and cold. Um, but it eventually calmed down over time, and uh, here we are. It's almost 3 o'clock during the day, and... Uh, man, fresh off of the haunted house deal, which I'll probably talk about that later on in this video, but... Um, there's a chance Amy could come over later today. Then again, maybe not because of some other things that she might have to do elsewhere. Um, but we'll see. We'll see for sure. But I just wanted to show that off. Show this off. Is it is snowing? It's crazy. It's it's November. November just started, by the way. <laughs> and it's it's insane. It, it really is just insane. Check this out. <laughs> Snow's kind of been on and off, but this time it is picked back up. It's picked up. Now we're starting to get about a little bit of like a little bit of snow that's that's uh, kind of latching onto the ground, even though that's kind of what snow does when it's cold enough. But just to give you a better idea, Come on, focus. This camera has some issues focusing. I don't understand it. But it's also a little bit harder because of, like, the snow. Because of the snow that's falling and also in the background as well. But just, like, look at this. Just, like, just to give you a little bit of a better perspective. It's, this is nuts. Like I said, November just started. And we're already getting this. This is, this should not be happening. But then again, Michigan weather is bipolar weather. It's also that drunk friend. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but gosh. It's getting windy. It's getting very windy. You got birds up in the air. Look at the birds. They're migrating. They're, they know it's too cold and they gotta leave. But the problem is, is because of the, the wind, it's just too strong. It's too strong. Amy's coming over a little bit later. I gotta get back inside. I'll tell you the story of the haunted house in a little bit. Honestly, it's kind of been a little bit of a crazy day because the start of November and it already snowed. Yes, I kept saying that. I keep I keep saying that. Uh, but anyways, um, me and Amy uh, spent some time together after she got out of work. Uh, we just watched some American Horror Story, um, just ate a little bit of candy, um, and, you know, we watched some videos on our phones, and scroll through everything else, and scroll through Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and, uh, just also talked as well, and, you know, it was, all in all, it actually was a pretty good day, I'd have to say for sure. Um, but I also found some really big, big, big stuff about Harvick missing the Final Four. There's already an Ask Our Hot Take episode on that. And that is, that's already been out and everything. So there's going to be another one coming out later this week of me predicting who I think is going to be the champion in Xfinity. Well, Trucks, Xfinity, and Cup. So be sure to keep your eyes peeled for, the, for that episode. Um, but yeah. That's really all I have to say, other than that this was a weird day from the fact that it started snowing at the beginning of November, and now then it was Harvick missing the Final Four and won't be able to race for a championship. But all in all, it was actually a pretty good day to say the least. I also forgot to mention about the Haunted House story from last night. <clears throat> It was really fun. Amy and I went and got to the haunted house over at, uh, it was right over where Kalamazoo Speedway was. It was just on the outside of it. We get there, we're waiting in line, and I'm scared as all heck because, you know, I'm just anticipating all the, that jump scare, all the jump scares and just the anxiety of just waiting in line. Just going, oh my gosh, please just get it done and over with. And so, and then we, we get in, we start, 
going through the haunted house and you know first first minute or two it's fine um, just a few jump scares here and there but then as it goes on it starts getting more and more and more intense but with me I'm the kind of person of there's some things that I'm there's some environments that I'm scared of but once you put me in that environment first and within the first few minutes I get used to it so I easily got used to all the jump scares and just my surroundings you know it was fun it really was fun and I'm surprised I didn't scream either Amy did scream a few times there was one in particular that was the best but she doesn't want me to talk about it so I'm not gonna talk about it <laughs> but you know but all throughout the night it was really fun there was one there was like a last the last part of a haunted house of the haunted house where somebody somebody had like a chainsaw um, which sounded real it looked real it even smelled real I could smell the gasoline from the chainsaw um, which I'm thinking most likely the the chains were were removed from the chainsaw itself but we we kept going through because like there was like chain length fences and they were kind of like in kind of like a maze so we kept going through them and as we were going through them the guy with the chainsaw kept following us um, for just for a little bit but that was near the end we got out just fine it was like oh my gosh that was awesome um, but <laughs> I didn't even scream at all I there were a few times where I jumped but I didn't but I kind of anticipated them you know it's just like expect to go in go in to a place where there might be unexpected so just basically in a nutshell expect the unexpected when it comes to jump scares all in all it was really fun. It was our first date, by the way. We've been dating for five months, and that was our first date. Some of you may go, man, that's a shocker. But, you know, it's a shocker for us because, you know, we had not been on, a like, a date by ourselves. We've been on a double date with another couple, but to have a first date with, our, with just us, that was the, our first one, and... You know, it was a really good one too. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you have not considered subscribing, I recommend you do so and we keep up with some fine content coming out in the near future. And that about does it for me. I'll see you in the next one.